This is a quick and dirty review of a solar powered light bulb, which I ordered from gearbest.com for the price of approximately five euros and 30 cents. Um, my first impressions. Okay. So at the back, it has a switch to turn the unit on and off. Uh, note that this is not its full brightness. This is when it's a medium to low battery. Um, there's a micro USB connector for charging it. And there's a little red LED indicating if it's being charged or not. It has a metal clip to hang from certain places, a um, little hook, uh, a nice plastic cover, probably not waterproof due to the holes on the side here, and 12 LEDs, 12 diodes inside the unit itself. Um, okay, as it comes onto the specifications, the specifications. Um, so it comes with a solar panel. Um, it has a nice, decent solar panel, I mean, a nice amount of cells on the front. Um, probably has a good current generation, but. The grope I have with the solar panel is the connector. Um, this is the first issue that I encountered. The connector seems to be dodgy, as you can see. It's not very, not very stable. You have to hold the cable at a certain angle for it to start charging, and so on and so forth. This doesn't happen with other micro USB cables, so I assume there's some sort of soldering issue or some sort of uh, loss of connectivity inside the wire itself, which is a shame because um, it's it's a nice unit. And I mean, the bulb did quality control according to the Chinese factory workers. Um, besides that, there's double-sided tape on the back of the solar panel. Not very nice. It feels cheap to be honest, but um, I mean, what can you do? The solar panel itself is not glass or anything. It's just pure plastic. Um, the micro USB cable seems to have been soldered onto the back here and just kind of jerry-rigged from the back here, but um, that's not much of an issue for me. Uh, the cable length is quite nice. It's about 3-4 meters, maybe even longer. I haven't measured it. But um, it's definitely good if you want to route the um, device. If you want to mount the solar panel properly outside on a window or something or on a roof and then sort of wire the light bulb somewhere indoors so you can use it as a permanent light fixture for the night times. I'm pretty sure it won't last uh, any longer than... It won't last any longer than um, probably 3-4 hours. Uh, but the thing with the light bulb is it doesn't go off, it just gets dimmer and dimmer. It probably has a lithium polymer cell inside, and as the voltage decreases it will still output light, which is actually quite dangerous because it might deeply discharge the battery, which is a shame because it's a very nice unit. Um, besides that, I will now demonstrate the maximum brightness by plugging it into an external USB power supply. As you can see, uh, let's get the light a bit here. Alright, so now it's plugged in. I will now increase the brightness by switching on the power supply. There you go. So this is the maximum brightness of the unit. It's actually quite bright. Uh, it's good, especially for indoor and outdoor usage. Uh, it's a good... I would definitely recommend it as a tent light or something to illuminate your tent. And if you have a battery bank to couple it with, it's definitely a good option. As you can see now, it's getting dimmer because it's been cut off the external power supply. Um, for any of you that are curious or want to buy this, I will have the purchase links in the description. And this is the model number if you want to search it directly on Gearbest. The S-1200 is the keyword which you want to be looking for. It has a bunch of other keywords, but um, essentially the purchase links are in the description. And please stay tuned for more reviews.